In this video you will see how to plot two set of data on one graph in origin like this. After plotting the graph I will show you how to increase the quality of the graph so you can send it for the publication. Let's get started. First you need to enter the data. You will get the two columns so to add more columns just right click outside the columns and click on add new column to add two new columns for example. After adding, notice that this is X and these columns are Y. So we have two data. We will make this set as X axis and then enter the data inside the origin sheet. And after entering the data, select all the columns and at the bottom here, click on the drop down and you can select the type of graph you want. We will select line plus symbol graph. Now as you can see this graph is not of a professional quality and we need to edit this graph. First click on the axis S, for example on Y axis so this is amount in MG. We will make it bold and increase the font size to 28 so it looks proper. Now similarly we will type time in minutes on X axis and increase it form to 28 and make it bold. Now these lines are very thin. We will increase the size of these lines, the thickness of the line. Click on the line and you will see here pencil icon. Just click on the drop down and select the color of your choice if you want to change the color. For example, let's say blue color and you can change the thickness of the line from here. We will select three points. Similarly, we will change the color of this line to black and increase its thickness to 3 points. Now we need to add border to this graph. To do that, click on the axis values, then right click and go to the properties. You will see this window. Click on line and ticks. Press control on your keyboard and select right and top and remove the selection of bottom. Now click on show line and take. Select the thickness to three points. Under major tick select none. Under minor tick select none. And click apply. Now we have a border to the graph. But this border is thin. So we will select the bottom and left border this time. Increase its thickness to three points. And just click apply. Now we have a nice border around the graph. To increase the font of these numbers on axis, go to the tick labels. Select bottom and left. Go to the format tab. Select the font size 28. Click on bold and click apply and click OK. Now double click on the legend and type what you want for example experiment 1 and delete percent 1. Similarly type the second legend. Select all and click on bold and increase the font size to 28. However we still have this outer border to remove it click on the box, click on line and border color and select the color white. This will make the outer border invisible. You can place the legend anywhere inside the graph. And if you want to add title to the graph, you can just right click, click on add text and type the title. You can move the title and adjust the title properly, change its font and also make it bold. After plotting, right click outside the chart area, click on fit page to layers and click OK. And this will remove all the excess white space around the graph. And now to save this graph, go to the file option, click on export graph, open dialog, click on these three dots and select where you want to save the graph, then click OK. 
if you want this image as a TIFF or a JPEG file, you can select it from here. There are many formats available here. For now, we will select TIFF format. Now under the image settings, specify the DPI of the graph. Set this DPI as per the journal requirements. So we will set here 600 DPI. And under the compression, select LZW and click on OK and this graph is saved if we check the DPI of this graph you can see that this graph is a very high resolution graph and the DPI is 600 you can copy the graph and paste it inside the word document as you can see the graph is of very high resolution even if you keep zooming in the graph won't blur Click on that like button, comment below and let me know if this video solved for your problem. And don't forget to check out these useful videos shown on screen to know more about origin. See you again in the next video.